Welcome back to another install video. So today I'm going to be installing this rigid armor license plate relocator kit to put it up here instead of it having having it down there where it's blocked by my bike rack and also the registration tag is blocked by the tire. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start by taking all, all the lugs out so then we can remove the tire. So we'll just start undoing all of these. So we could get access to the spacer down below. <clears throat> and it'll all make sense as to why I am doing this in a little bit. Okay, perfect. Remove the wheel. <clears throat> now the reason why I did that is because if you notice, this is actually a different thread pitch than these. These are M12s by 1.25 and I need an M12 by 1.5, which is this one right here. So what I'm gonna do is Remove my spacer. As you can see, I had to cut the studs because it wouldn't fit on there because the studs were all too long. <clears throat> so, instead of having to try to figure out how to replace one of these studs, I just used a different spacer and did that beforehand. Just smacked that out with a hammer and then I'm just gonna replace it with the next one. Spacer is good to go. Now we can put in this one with the replaced stud. And we will tighten them all down. Okay, I'll tighten each one of them. Give each good snug. We don't want the tire falling off anytime soon or at all. And then we'll take these off since we have no need for them anymore. And before we put the, the wheel on, we'll take the plate off because the wheel blocks the bolt that's closest to, to me right now. Okay, now that I have this on, I'm just gonna quickly take off my plate with this 10 mil. Do the same over here. And then, let's get this off. <clears throat> Plate here for now, 
and then I'm just gonna quickly rethread these so no rust gets on the inside. All the rust is on this bolt, anyways. Now back to getting the wheel on the spacer. So we'll grab my wheel wrench, bring the wheel back over, find the orientation that I want it, just like this. <clears throat> right, like that. like that and then this time around what we'll do is throw on the one locking lug nut and then just three of these black ones because this is now a different thread pitch up here so we'll get all of those on and then it will be time to put the actual license plate relocation kit on. Let's get everything hand tight for now. And then we'll thread on the license plate relocation kit. And then we'll torque everything down and then put the license plate on the relocation kit. Okay. So with this, we'll undo that. Issue. So that bolt was actually smaller than these ones, the, the threads that hold the stud in. So I need to find a way to actually get it to thread in there. Oh, there we go. If I press in, maybe if I pull out. I pull on it and continue. There we go. If I pull on it and thread it, it'll still catch. There we go. Now that's tight. We'll grab this and torque it down. Okay. Don't need this tool. Only. Uh, yeah, no, we don't need this tool anymore. So we'll just put it back and then grab my wheel wrench. And start tightening. Tighten this one, this one, go over here. Then to this one. Oh, that one wasn't very tight, now was it? Tighten that down. And tighten that one down. Now it's to the point where we're time to actually install the kit part. So let's see, what size do we need for this? That would be a 14 mil, I believe. That's an 11. Yes, 14. Okay. Don't need that currently. We'll grab this. Put that right on top. This, there we go. Locking washer 
onto the plate, or well, onto the wheel. Get it as straight as we can. Car is slightly off center right now, but we'll get it. Oh, as close as we can. Okay, now let's put the plate on. So let's see, what will we need for the plate? We'll need some way to get back there. What I'll do is take this, put the washer right there, and we'll find what size we need. That will be too big. Let's see if this one will fit. That's the right size. And then find an Allen key. It's the right size. I'd imagine it is this one. Nope, one bigger. It is that one perfect. So we'll take these along with the plate and the washer. Put that through the plate. Put that through the washer on the nut on the back. Thread it on, and then we'll put this side on, and then we'll start adjusting it to get it in the center. Sure off. Might have to just back it out. I right, got it. Get that right in there. Washer, and then the nut. And then just try it. It's, it's almost centered. Just say it needs to what? move. I would say that looks centered to me. So we'll take this and tighten it down to get the license plate on there. Okay. Snug. Also snug, and then we'll just tighten that down. Tighten that down, and there you have it. Not that bad of an install, looks pretty good. Now you can actually see my license plate, and overall, I'm pretty pleased.